Sum Up is the story of the Carteret Islands off the coast of Papua New Guinea, where filmmaker Jennifer Redfern says islanders have had no choice but to move to higher ground. We documented some of the destruction that's happening from rising sea levels, from uh, more frequent storm surges, from um, the lack of uh, freshwater sources and, and how the sea has contaminated some of their gardening land. Ursula Rakova grew up on the islands. Those times the sea wasn't as cruel as it is today. The islands are expected to be underwater by 2015. Rakova heads the relocation effort for 3,000 people. We follow them as they search for a new home and feel the sadness as Carteret elder John Salek laments the loss. Well, I was a little boy. My very special thing was uh, uh, fishing with my spear on the, uh, on the reef. I'm losing the reef. I'm losing the happiness of the island. I'll be missing the sound of waves at night and I'll be listening to it no more. Redfern says the Carteret Islanders are among the world's first climate refugees. The International Organization for Migration predicts the number of people displaced by rising ocean levels will grow to 200 million by 2050. Redfern hopes her film helps to raise awareness to reverse the trend. I want that to move people. I want it to either make them angry, make them sad, make them frustrated. And I want to take that anger and that frustration and that sadness and turn that into action. March the 22nd has been designated as World Water Day by the United Nations. Water Wars explores water scarcity in southern Ethiopia. Herders drive their animals long distances for water and compete with their neighbors for the same scarce resource. John Sawyer, director of the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting, brought the documentary to the Environmental Film Festival in Washington. Really looking at how pastoralists are among the first victims of, of global climate change and, and what that's doing to their way of life and the possibility of conflict as a result of it. Easy Like Water documents the water crisis in Bangladesh, a nation of 150 million people faced with increasingly intense floods and storms. We meet architect Mohammad Rezwan, who's built a fleet of solar-powered, internet-connected school boats that solve a problem. I thought if the children cannot come to school, then school should go to them. Filmmaker Glenn Baker says Rezwan's inspired solar-powered boats help to bridge the education gap and can also meet other community needs. And he envisions entire communities that will have to float. Now, I'm not saying this is a, the only answer to climate change, but it's people taking one adaptive strategy, doing what they have to do to survive. All three documentaries, Easy Like Water, Water Wars, and Sun Come Up, were supported in part by the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Center director John Sawyer hopes they will stir greater public activism on climate change and water issues. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington. <laughs> Yeah.